Hi, in this video we are going to see the advanced table like rename, resize, convert to range, remove duplicates and how we can go for a slicer for a table. Let's see those one by one. If you see on the screen I have some data, date, region, sales rep, COGs and sales. Now if I want to create a table we have seen how we can create using a shortcut Control T. So I'll press Control T for my keyboard and enter. So a table is created. The moment a table is created, I get the design tab along with that. If I keep my cursor outside, design tab goes away. Now the cursor is inside the uh, table. If you see, there's a table name given as table 10. So this is the 10th table in my sheet. If you want, you can rename the table. How do you rename? Just keep your cursor in that area and you can name any table name like say my table and press enter. Now what is the benefit of this giving a name of this table is suppose you are some other table let's say if you are into some other sheet and if you want to go back to your table that is my table you can just click on this drop down and if you see there's a range name given so I'll click on this my table so the navigation is very much more easy by this method so th that is how you can give a name to a table same way if you want to rename a table you can just do do the same steps click delete and you can change it now suppose next one is if we want to resize a table right now the table size is this much if you want to ignore this sales column, you can just click inside the table and you can see this option as resize table. You get a dialog box. The same dancing ants are selected. It says this is the data which I've selected. But if you don't want the E column, you can just select from E column. I'll remove this E and I'll replace it with D column. And once you click on OK, you can see you can resize this again. And otherwise you can select this area like this way and you can click on OK. So this way my table size is this much. Now if you, even if you delete this column it will no matter. So table is inside this. Let's see how we can see. Yeah. Now if I keep my cursor in this column you see there is no design tab. But if I keep my cursor inside this you can see the design tab is available. That's how you can resize your table. Next we have something known as I'll just for time being I'll delete this column. Next we have that is slicer for a table. Now what exactly is a slicer? It is nothing but a user friendly filter, user friendly filter given. You can filter a region from this drop down like this. I'll just click on this and you can select here a Midwest region and you can click on OK. And if you don't like you can just delete that filter just by using this clear filter option. But suppose you are managing a company or a team leader, you would hate to go to this database you would like something known as softer kind of user friendly option. So that is where you come slicer. So how do you bring a slicer for this? If I want a slicer for region column, just go to the design tab and you can select here insert slicer. They will ask you a few options. What are those options? These are the names of the columns which are visible here. I want a slicer for region column and I can click on OK. This is the slicer and these are the options available here. Now if you are a manager, what you'll do is you'll not go to this region and select the northeast region and you'll just click on this northeast. So once you click on this, the data will be filtered according to your requirement. If you want midwest, you can select midwest. If you want west, you can get all the data. If you do not like, you can just click on clear filter. So that is all, all about the slicer. If you do not like this slicer, you can just select that and you can press delete key, it will go away. So this way you can delete the slicer and insert it. Next we have something known as how to remove a duplicate. Suppose you have a table this way and if you see in this table I have three records which are completely duplicate. So these are three records I will just highlight with some color, yellow color. So if you see exactly these three rows are duplicate. How do we remove that? And sometimes in company if you go they will give you some blank records which are again we need to remove it. So suppose I have some blank records in this place I will delete and I'll delete this but still is it is a part of a table if I remove this blank still it is a part of table so there's one option known as remove duplicates what does it do is it will remove all the duplicates and it will keep one original for example I have three data here one out of this three is original and other two are duplicate similarly there are two blank records one out of those is original blank record and the other one is duplicate so you just keep your cursor anywhere in the table and you can go to the design tab and if you see there's an option known as remove duplicates. So once you click on this remove duplicates, it will ask you a table, it will give you a dialog box saying that 
do you want to remo remove duplicates in all the column itself so you have to say yes select all and you have to click on ok the moment you click on ok out of this three yellow barred color rows only one will be there out of this two blank records one record will be there so once you click on ok now if you see how many are removed there are two duplicate values found and there are seven unique values remaining so two duplicate values found are removed and one is remaining so when I, once I click on ok there's something wrong in this so yeah so if you see north and west these are two different data which is absolutely correct and the blank record if you see out of which one is removed and other is left you see there's only one blank record which is left and the other one is removed so this way you can remove the blank records and it is very much useful this is a very small data but imagine in a company you get loads of data which is a very n number of records and that time it will be very useful next we have if you don't want this table if you want to dissolve this table you can just use the option as convert to range so right now i don't want this table i can just select this option as convert to range it will give you a dialog box asking whether you really want to convert this table to a normal range i say yes so this table will go away and it will become a normal range how do i find out whether it is a normal range or not if i click inside this data i should get design tab if it is a table if it is not a table the design tab goes away so this way we have seen different options here how to rename how to remove duplicates and convert to range that's all for this video